Well, it's something that I never imagined uh, to hear when I started racing. So uh, yeah, for sure, of course, it's something that um, I'm very proud of. The F1 caravan is moving to Las Vegas, and although the initial hype was much bigger than now, it seems like the world is still heavily expecting some drama and intense racing under the lights of Sin City. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean it will come without its own challenges, and one of them might actually ruin the race for all of the drivers out there, the track temperature. With a lot going on right now regarding the conditions in which the drivers will race, which will be 10pm local time, the only question that remains to be answered is, did Formula 1 mess up with the latest race in Vegas? It's safe to say that Vegas is poised to be one of the most extravagant races in the world, with the eyes of the F1 fans stabilised at the long straight deltas that have been renewed just for this spectacle of a show. However, if you're an F1 driver, I don't think you'll enjoy the conditions you'll find at this race for a variety of reasons, with the first and most obvious one being the tired temperatures. The race has been scheduled at night for two obvious reasons. The European fans would have a more enjoyable time watching the race, and let's not fool each other, Vegas is more spectacular at night. This is why the race will actually be held on Saturday, but due to the fact that it's November right now, it's very unlikely that the track temperatures will get more than 4 degrees Celsius, according to the predictions. What this essentially means is, is that the race is going to break an infamous record that's been standing alive since 1978 and the Canadian GP, where the conditions there allowed for a race to be held on a track that was only 5 degrees Celsius. It will be just like driving on ice, especially if you consider the fact that the Las Vegas GP doesn't have that many corners in which the drivers will have a good opportunity to warm up their tyres, which is then again an additional burden that the teams would have to fix throughout the entire race. And adding on to this matter, the former member of Formula 1 management, Ross Braun, who left his position in 2022, when the organisations about the Las Vegas race had just started, stated a reason that not many fans would have believed was real up until it turned into reality, the management had no idea it would be that cold in November in Vegas at night. Elaborating further on this matter, Braun went on to say, The one thing we hadn't considered initially, but the tyre company have dealt with, is it gets very, very cold at night. So when the race is happening, which is Saturday night, it's been known to drop down to 3 or 4 degrees. So it can be really quite cold, and of course getting the cars to work in those temperatures can be a challenge. The tyre companies have done some work to make sure the tyres can cope with that. We're definitely facing some new challenges which we've never had before, but I think it'll be spectacular. Now, the outlet of the races does allow the drivers to turn on 17 occasions. More precisely, the track has 17 corners, but the three long straights take the majority of the spotlight, and the teams will definitely need more than one lap in order to fire up their tyres in qualifying. This might actually see them leaving the paddock much earlier, in order to put enough heat in their tyres to the point of them actually being ready for a qualifying lap which would create total chaos on the grid. As if one warm-up lap wasn't enough for jam traffic, two of those would be absolutely devastating for anyone who would try to set the fastest lap during the qualifying laps. This is a matter that Andrew Shoblin has also talked about, and elaborating on this further, he added, It'll just depend on exactly how cold it is, because if the track is down in single figures, that's often a region where you go winter testing. You do a run, it's very difficult for the tyres to either get them switched on or they may be graining and things, and then sometimes you just wait until it warms up a bit. So actually having to race and qualify in those conditions, it'll be interesting. You just try and identify the risks with the new circuit, work out what your contingencies will be, whether you need any sort of specific car spec to deal with that, and we're going through that at the moment. But as I said, if it's at the very cold end of predictions, it's difficult to know how the tyres are going to work. Yes, it's kind of hard to understand how F1 put all of the brilliant minds that work in management together in order to organise such a complex race event but still fail to predict that the weather might play down all of the hype around the race. On top of that, interest has been plummeting ever since the entire city was deformed due to the F1 caravan visiting it, and the locals are having none of it. 
Tickets that were initially available for $1,000 when the race was announced have dropped to $500. And to think that there was a three-suite bedroom apartment offered at the Wynn Hotel for six people and a four-night stay for a staggering $1 million is actually out of this world. The demonstrators have also done their thing, protesting about how their city turned out to be just for a one-race weekend. And it seems like not all drivers like to race here after all. While Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo are thrilled to be racing in Vegas, the three-time world champion Max Verstappen believes that the only reason why the F1 caravan is visiting the desert in Nevada in such conditions is because of the show and the glamour that the F1 has gained mostly throughout the Drive to Survive documentary. It's not that America doesn't need more F1 races, quite the contrary. But the street circuits, especially the ones that we're currently going to experience in Las Vegas, are ones that will be under a huge question mark for their future and for their stability. Elaborating on this matter even further, Verstappen went on to say, First of all, I think we are there more for the show than the racing itself if you look at the layout of the track. But you know, I'm actually not that into it. I'm more like, I'll go there and do my thing and be gone again. There's still a lot to do. I still need to go on the simulator. I still don't even know the track to be honest. The last time I tried it on the F1 game, I think I hit more walls than I was going straight. So let's hope that's not the case when I start driving there. But it's going to be very different to Brazil. Very low temperatures of course in the night there. Street circuit. We have no experience there. We don't know the track grip. All new, so maybe we'll give you a few surprises. I don't know. Obviously, the situation is going to be very difficult for all the drivers to tackle, and Pirelli has issued a formal statement through Mario Isola, the head of the F1's department at the company, regarding where the drivers would struggle the most, according to the data. Of course, this is something that can undergo a lot of changes due to the fact that we do not have precise data from actual racing experience in Vegas. But be that as it may, the new asphalt and the lack of rubber in it will definitely result in lower grip which would further hinder the chances of the drivers to not only warm up their tyres, but also have a stable surface to drive on. When talking about this matter, Isola added, It's a step into the unknown for everybody, I believe. Las Vegas will be cold. It's a street circuit. So we were working with the teams and we asked them for simulations in advance to try to understand how much energy the layout of the aircraft is putting on tyres. We had information from the companies that are making the tarmac in order to understand how abrasive is the tarmac and which is the level of creep we can expect. But still, a lot of question marks are on Las Vegas. The asphalt is quite smooth according to the information I have and so the level of grip will be very poor. I can anticipate this. It's a big unknown. Fast track, long straights, high speed, and all conditions that are quite difficult to manage. Well, with all this in mind, it does seem like the Las Vegas GP is going to be a very difficult challenge to endure for the F1 teams and the engineers. So we'd like to ask you guys, what do you think will be greeted from the Sin City in the following weekend? Let us know in the comments down below.